In this screencast, we are going to demonstrate how to create an alias using the Mudlet client. For reference, an alias is a short or easy to remember command that you can type directly into the game that will translate out into a longer or more complicated command that would normally take you uh, longer to enter. For this example, I'm going to make an alias called WS and have it send the command wield sword two times directly to the game. Uh, so let's go ahead and make that alias. I'm already logged into my test character on Empyrean using the Mudlet client. Remember to be careful in making an alias. An alias will override other commands in the game. If you make an alias for an existing command, that command will become inaccessible to your character. Alright, so first let's make sure that WS, uh, the alias I want to make, is not used by the game. I'm going to type in WS, and as you see, I get the confused message, so the game does not think that this is used, uh, already in use. Um, so to make an alias, I'm going to click on either the alias button here in the menu bar or the alias, uh, the alias menu right above it. So I'm going to click on aliases. Uh, and to create my alias, I'm going to click on add item in the window that pops up. All right, I'm going to give the alias a name. In this case, I'm just going to call it uh, my wield uh, alias. Of course, I need to spell wield correctly. All right, uh, pattern, I'm going to put in um, what I want my alias to be, which is going to be WS. In substitution, I'm going to put what I want the Mudlet client to send to the game. In this case, I want it to send wield sword right, and then I'm going to put in a semicolon, which is going to separate the two commands so it doesn't think it's just one big long command. And then I'm going to put in wield sword left. All right, I'm not going to worry about the big text box underneath the substitution field. Um, that's for something else. And now I want to make sure that I save the alias. And as you can see, it's now listed right here as wield alias, which is the alias name. Uh, now, it is not actually working quite yet. If you notice, I'll come back over here to my uh, play window. I'll click on WS again, and you can see that it's not working uh, yet. So I need to come back over to the window, and I need to activate this alias. Now I can do this by clicking right here on this button, and you can see that that activates it. If I click on it again, it deactivates it. I can also activate it by double clicking on the checkbox, and as you can see, that is activated it as well. Double click will de deactivate it. So I want to make sure it's active. Uh, I like to save it one more time, I don't know why. And then I'm going to click on back, come back to the game, type in WS, and you can see that I wield both of the, the long swords when I type in the alias. Um, I can unwield them, <coughs> unwield sword, unwield sword, type it in again, we, I can type it in again, and it tries to wield it even though I'm already wielding. Um, so as you can see, I have made an alias for uh, wielding swords. Um, of course, you can do much more advanced things with aliases than we've shown you here, and we'll go over some examples of that in a, in a future screencast. Uh, hopefully this helps out those of you that are new to aliases and new to Mudlet. Uh, and once again, if you have any questions, go ahead and ask on your game forums, and we can help you out.